Hey everybody, it's Yoni here with UKMR, and as you'll probably know, Apple released iOS 7 to the masses on Wednesday, and I am here with a first look, overview, and performance comparison of the new software. So I did update to the new software on Thursday afternoon and it was available on Wednesday evening but the update servers were fully packed and I wasn't able to update it on Wednesday evening. The update has added a lot of new features, most notably the complete graphical redesign, Apple has changed the icon pack to something more colourful, all of the built in apps look completely different and the OS as a whole has a brand new theme. Some people do like how it looks as it has removed things such as green felt and legal yellow paper. On the other hand, some people think the icons look like they were finger painted by children. Personally though, I am happy with the redesign. Other mentionable features include the updates to spotlight search, folders, notification center, the lock screen, multitasking and iTunes radio. So how does it perform? Well, I'm running iOS 7 on my iPad 2, which is the oldest and lowest spec iPad 2 run iOS 7, saying that it does run the OS pretty well. Apart from very slight lag in some places, including the first time you open up the spotlight search after restarting the springboard, as well as the new lighter font looking absolutely horrible on the iPad 2 screen since it is not a retina display, I am actually surprised at how good the performance of the software is. So thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then leave a comment below with your thoughts on iOS 7, the update. Do you have it? Do you not have it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Just let me know in the comments below and I will respond to your thoughts on it. Don't forget to check out Nirav's iPhone 5C unboxing and also don't forget that Nirav will be doing a follow up of this video to do with iOS 7 running on the iPad mini within the next week. So do subscribe to the channel and make sure to stay tuned to the website for the updates on that.